Good morning. Welcome back to Kives Park in DuCoin, Illinois. My name is Jane Chapman. I'm a University of Illinois Extension Master Gardener from Perry County. Today we're going to talk about the Quercus macrocarpa, or better known as the bur oak. This is probably one of the most majestic trees of the oak family. It can reach heights of 120 feet, but normally its growth range is from 70 to 80 feet. Uh, it has a can get very large diameter trunk up to five feet, and it is, can live to be a very old age. Some trees have been found that have been up to a thousand years old. One reason its tree lasts so long is the fact that it is kind of the most fire resistant of the oaks because of its harky type uh, bark that it has on the tree. It's very cold tolerant, can handle very cold conditions. It's very slow growing though, and it can grow, like I said, to be very old. Some of the other names are the savanna oak, the mossy oak, the blue oak, and the prairie oak. Some of the characteristics of the burr oak is the fact that it re can re reproduce by seed or it can also sprout from the stump. The trunk is tall and straight and it has a very rounded crown at the top. The leaf is a shiny dark green color and it's lobed at the very end, as you can tell with this example that I have here. This is the only oak that has this large lobe like here and then goes off into smaller lobes behind it. That large lobe is a characteristic of the white oak grouping of your oak trees. The fruit on a bur oak is also very distinctive and that's where part of its name come from, macrocarpa, carpera. Uh, macro in Latin means large. Carpra in Greek means fruit, so large fruit. The fruit on this particular type tree gets the size of a ping pong ball or larger, like one inch or so in diameter. It's also hairy. And the cap, you know on an acorn they have a cap. The cap of the bur oak will cover at least three quarters of the acorn. Some of the uses of the bur oak is in cabinetry, hardwood flooring, fence posts, different things like that. The Native Americans used this particular tree for treating heart ailments, fixing broken bones, and they used it as an astringent to stop bleeding. So that is our Native American bur oak. 